Hey Deckers, the highly anticipated Where Winds Meet is now available. However, it's not working out of the box on the Steam Deck, but it is pretty easy to fix, and I will show you how to do that towards the end of this video. But for now, gameplay wise, we are looking at around 30 to 40 frames per second with okay looking graphics, though there are some heavy loading sessions, especially when we go into towns and some other cutscene areas where the frame rate will dip down into the tens occasionally and will sit around the mid 20s on some occasions but it does pass and is mostly playable. Settings wise we are having to put this down to pretty much the lowest graphics settings though and XCSS balanced gives a much better balance overall with that motion blur off on the performance graphics quality settings. Any higher than this and you're barely going to manage over 30 frames per second for most of the game but with these settings you can occasionally hit 40. I do recommend that we cap this at 30 on the deck or even in the game itself to just try and smooth things out but if you do want that extra frames per second occasionally then doing so at 30 to 40 frames per second does make it a little bit smoother. There is quite a lot of big loading freezes on this though and hopefully they'll smooth it out over time but it is a very graphical game and one that will struggle to be any better on the Steam Deck. Very interesting game though with lots of crossovers from things like Elden Ring and other games but also much more MMO like. On to the fixes then, by default and after every update you will get a blank screen loading this on game mode. So if this does happen and it has happened to me several times after some of the big game updates what you need to do is come out and switch to desktop mode from the power menu and run the game in desktop mode so that you can accept the agreements and get through the initial shader cache. That's all you need to do and then you can switch back but unfortunately by default the controller is also not working on the Steam Deck. It should be and I don't know why it isn't with the latest Proton version even with the 10.03 release. So we do need to make another tweak. So once you've run this in desktop mode, just quit out. And if you don't have the Decky Loader Wine Cellar plugin, which I'll cover when I get back to game mode, then you need to open the Discover Store and search for Proton Up QT. Just searching QT brings this up pretty quickly. I already have it installed, which is why it's showing here. But once that's finished, just launch it. And I have cut out some of the loading times here just for expediency. And then click add version under the Steam install from that top section and install the latest GE Proton version, which at the time of recording this was 10.25. Once that's installed, you will just need to exit back to game mode. But if you want to set the compatibility mode in here, then you can just open the properties, go to compatibility and hit 10.25. Then we can just log out and head back to game mode. If you did just switch back to game mode and you have the Decky Loader Wine Cellar plugin, then you can just go to Wine Cellar Manage and make sure that you have the 1025 GE Proton or the latest GE Proton installed. If you don't have the Decky Loader Wine Cellar plugin, it's very useful to not have to switch to desktop mode to manage those. And if you don't know what Decky Loader is, I will leave a link in the description to the full guide for Decky Loader so you can get even more out of it, including this nice custom layout. Once you've got your GE Proton all sorted, just go into the game properties and just make sure that compatibility is set or set it to 1025 on GE Proton if you didn't do it in desktop mode. And you'll know if it's working because it will launch straight away and you'll actually see the loading screen instead of it being a black screen. And as long as you switch the GE Proton, then you'll see that controller connected and you'll be able to play using the default controller layout. Overall, the game has been quite interesting. Just don't try and take on this goose. Use some of the skills that you learn. Otherwise, you'll find out just how much devastation a demonic goose can bring. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be playing this one. A nice free-to-play title if you want to pick up something fresh and new. And so many crossovers with other games. It's definitely a lot rolled into one. And the only microtransactions seem to be for cosmetics. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.